it's obviously been a much better last 12 months for pretty much everyone involved than it has been historically, but I think a lot of that is credit to the two of you. I know you're not looking to get gassed yeah. up, but I think it's important to acknowledge the hard work that you guys are doing. The cool part about like where I'm at right now, yeah. like career-wise, it's like I'm young enough that I can play around with some things, but right. I'm experienced enough that I'm not like just feeling like I need to get one on the board anymore after Boston. So, I'm right. so it's like we can kind of, yeah, get a little bit more, not risk taking, but a bit more creative and just see what pays off and what doesn't and just keep dialing things in. I got a brand new game I want to lay on you. Well, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Where are we going? We are going home. I'm coming home. Coming home. Going to Minneapolis, Max. Yep. Never been. City that never sleeps. That's what they say about it. So, what did we do this morning? We ran in a shocking twist. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just went from my house, I guess my parents' house. There's a lovely trail called the LRT. It's like a almost exactly a mile from our front door. And it's where I grew up running. It's where I fell in love with running. It's where I vlogged probably more miles than any other trail in the world by like a pretty decent margin. Um, so yeah, we met up, Joe came over and we were out with Joe. Now we're making some breakfast. Just hung out with my parents, chatted with them for a while. And then we'll go down to Minneapolis here in like a hour or two. Okay, cut. I can't open the cheese. <laughs> Reed's always been a people person, and I think it's a really good sport for that yeah, because, yeah. you know, he knows he sees people everywhere he goes, and he's just always been that way. I mean, yeah. he'd get dragged to every soccer yeah. game and whatever, and kids kids knew him. Like, I, like people I didn't even know would know who Reed was because he was just so friendly, mm -hmm. and he's still that way. So it's just kind of, kids kind of don't change a lot to some degree. Yeah. Here we go, Matt. Here we go, Reed, come on, baby. So Shaddy, keep working up. You guys keep working up to him. Keep working. Here we go. And I think he's kept the fun in it, mm -hmm. um, which I think has also been helpful just to try to manage those expectations and uh, I'm sure there's pressure along the way that you feel but I think he's always been able to keep the fun and I think that probably you know is that saying in terms of you know I never worked a day in my life because I love what I do so it's not work and I think there's uh, it seems like with Reed or that's part of who he is that way. That no, was great. I mean, it was a ton of fun to be back out here. Like, it was really cool to be on the course and have, like, like my seventh grade English teacher, Donna Filippo, sang the national anthem and then came over to the start line and waved at me and cheered for me. So that was pretty cool. Like, it's just a lot of fun to be back home and to feed off the energy of people that have grown up kind of supporting me and investing in my career is really, really special. So, yeah, definitely makes me feel pretty good, but we've got five weeks to get back to Boulder and put the finishing touches on things and make sure we don't screw anything up, so still some work to be done. It's definitely not like a, all right, cool, that was a good race, let's rest on our laurels. Yeah. It's very much like a good indicator of things to come if, if we can keep up the good work. Yeah. Where are we at, Joey? What's happening? We're in New York City. We just ran into that poor man. Uh, I think there's a mar I think there's a big race this weekend, so really? we uh, came to see if we could participate in it. Yeah. That's it. See that guy's running. They're all running it. Love you. Uh, any thoughts 
thoughts on the weather, observing the runners today, and just previous experience with it? Um, I mean, it's gonna be a real treat out there, I'm sure. Like, it's basically supposed to be forecasted the same as Chicago was last year, maybe a little bit less wind, but I didn't really think the wind was much of a determining factor in Chicago last year, and I placed really well in Chicago last year. I think I ran a really smart race, so we will be interested to see how tactically things play out, and, you know, I think, like everyone out there, you go in with a plan, but you often just have to end up reacting intuitively to what's happening around you, and I usually have a pretty good instinct for what is right and what's not right and when the time is, is good for me to make a move or when I need to stay where I'm at and then try and make a move later. So, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of just feel self-assured that, Trust yourself. yeah, as long as I can get out there and feel good and my body reacts to the heat in a way that it typically does and everything else goes according to plan, like I think I should be in for a, maybe a slower day than imagined, but not any worse of a day than imagined. Yeah. I think everything's still pointing to a successful day out there. Like I think back when we went on the trip to Michigan and we did the walk at the sand dunes, I look, it was like two families, there were 10 of us, mm -hmm. and we started off this walk, we had no, it was to Lake Michigan mm -hmm. over these dunes and people kept dropping out, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. And little Reed was, I don't know, eight, probably weighed 50 mm -hmm. pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just kept going and it ended up, the only three people who made it were me, Reed, and John's brother. And trust me, I would have stopped long <laughs> ago, but Reed, nope, nope, I wanna keep going, I wanna keep going. And it's like, he is, tenacious you know right, right. <laughs> and that was to me kind of a a glimmer of that competitive spirit right. like I'm not a quitter right which he's not so it's just kind of a fun memory yeah. there's a picture of it up on his dresser yeah, you yeah. see that that's us yeah, at the end yeah, yeah. So. Um, I feel pretty good about it I mean that his build was just about perfect um, Reed is not going to make any dumb decisions out there. He's a super steady Eddie athlete, and he makes you know good decisions when he's racing and training. And you know, there's absolutely nothing I can do at this point except just watch and and um, hope it all unfolds the way you know he and I both want. <laughs> there he is. Where? Up to the right behind two yellow guys. Oh. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Actually, have faster times than him. Oh, that's uh, in the green is Galen. Come on, Reed! Go, Reed! Let's go, Reed! I'm just using uh, the the TCS uh, New York uh, Marathon app. I'm following obviously Reed and a few other uh, people. Um, just to check, you know, all their splits and their places. They, they have a U.S. leaderboard and, and an overall leaderboard, and you can uh, see the details of each 5K split and that sort of thing. Or they've just all come through the half. Here he's like a little behind Scott Fobble and a little in front of Abdi. I think he's doing okay. Their their paces have slowed down a tiny bit, and Drew is calling me right now, so I'm going to answer the phone. Here it is, Reed. Let's go, baby. Keep moving, keep moving. So here's Reed going by. By himself. Totally. According to uh, the tracking, he is uh, fourth American. He's moved up. He is completely alone. It looks like nobody in sight in front of him and nobody behind him. But Reed is super tough about that stuff. So I, he looked okay running by. Um, I, yeah, and he hasn't slowed down anymore. Let's go in! Let's go in! Come on, come on, finish me! Let's go! Hello. Yeah. 
Oh, it was so hard. So hard. Oh, so much harder than everything else. Everything you've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. And you were so alone for Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that was... And it was like, there wasn't even like blood in the water until I saw Lenny, so I just like, I don't know who's ahead of me and how far ahead of me they are. And you just kept picking them off? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got like a couple of people, but yeah. You were, you were fifth at one point, I mean, you kept like going and going. I the fifth American? Fifth yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, it was awesome. You know, I mean, I, well, anytime that you top two American, like, that's a pretty good day, but I think that with the heat and humidity, it was a real mental battle, and that's the kind of stuff that Reed excels at, and he was really able to, to make everybody hurt, and you know, stayed, uh, he stayed solid in that war of attrition. I think if there's, I can't point to anything that he could have done better. I don't, I don't know if he could point to anything that he could have done better either. I think he's definitely establishing himself as someone who is a contender on the marathon scene, and it's, it's nice to, to see him have the confidence in his training and to, and to show that in his training that he's like starting, you can feel it, like he's starting to believe that he's that guy. And I think that, you know, when he toes the line on a, on a day where the conditions and the course are good, like everyone's gonna know he's that guy.